Well, uh, returning to the United States, very briefly, you have a sporting story for us. We were going to talk about this last week. In fact, we yeah. teased it at the beginning. Hopefully, no one was uh, too upset that we didn't actually get to finish the story. Cause nobody, nobody wrote in to comment. Nobody wrote in to comment about yeah. how we teased mentioning a John Gruden story. Now, if you remember, uh, he was the white coach for the Raiders, who was... Some would say fired, some would say forced to resign over some emails that were leaked out during this investigation by the NFL of the Washington Redskins uh, into Dan Snyder's alleged misdealing, 650,000 emails. Interestingly, the only ones that were leaked out, John Gruden's. So what ends up happening? Here's what the story says. The fallout over Gruden's unacceptable language in dozens of emails from 2011 to 2018 continues as the Buccaneers have announced he is being deleted from the team's ring of honor. Deleted. Non-personed. Commissar vanishes. If you ever want to read a great book, this is what just happened to <sighs> Mr. Gruden for being insufficiently loyal to the uh, to the woke empire that is now in charge of the country. Dozens of email messages, huh? Dozens of email. We talked about it. Uh, yes, what, I think I one mean... of them, what he made fun of the black... Player, uh, now, the only one that sticks in my rep. mind was well, he, re he referred to some black black guy as having lips like Michelin tires. But uh, And I'd like to know, uh, and, you know, we talked about this before. Usually there is a media account that says, oh, we had racist or sexist or misogynist email. And that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Out the door he goes. I'd like to know exactly what he said. What passes for misogynism these days? I'd really like to know. But uh, they're just mum on that for the most part. So here's what uh, the team said in the statement, quote, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have advocated for purpose purposeful change in the area of race relations, gender equality, diversity and inclusion for many years. While we acknowledge John Gruden's contributions on the field, his actions go against our core values as an organization. Therefore, he will no longer continue to be a member of the Buccaneers Ring of Honor. He was inducted to the Ring of Honor back in 2017. Uh, it was started in 2009. They've inducted 13 members. Uh, he was the head coach, won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers. Um, you know, he was, like I said, originally called on to the carpet, as this article says, for what they said was, you mentioned earlier, racist language to, de to describe the NFL Players Association leader, DeMaurice De De Smith. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, other people said he used uh, gay slurs and other misogynistic comments. I think he made fun of the first female referee. I guess that's misogyny. You can't make fun of females mm. and otherwise once male professions, vocations. So, but yeah, uh, so he had to, he, he had to quit his job as the head coach of the uh, Las Vegas. I, I said Oakland Raiders. You didn't catch me because you don't know this. They did move to Las Vegas. So, oh, right. but hey, who cares? <laughs> it's just, a, it's a, once again, he's been removed from the ring of honor. Because he violated their core values. Now, I would, have think, I would have thought one of their core values was winning. Well, it's not like O.J. Uh, Simpson. You can just kill someone and, uh, you know. <laughs> I guess uh, the, there are more important core values. Avoiding misogyny is more important than winning. So you can win all you like, but if you say the wrong things about women, oh, you're out. Out, out you go. Out you go. Well, all right.